We're talking about practice. So listen up. Over the next four weeks, including this week, I'm gonna be releasing a video series in sequential order that teaches you how to practice properly. I'm gonna be teaching you how to retrain your eyes. I'm gonna be teaching you how to warm up properly. I'm gonna be teaching you the differences between technical practice and performance practice. I'm gonna be teaching you a good way to go through your practice sessions so that you have practice sessions that are meaningful for you. You want your practice sessions to work for you. You are out here grinding your butt off and you wanna know that when you leave there that you, all the hard work that you put in is gonna show up, right? I would assume so. Okay, great. So if you're new to the channel, Remember, subscribe to the channel because it helps us in the algorithm. Remember to leave us a like and comment below. I hope that you guys join us on this ride because I know that practice isn't one of those things that's sexy, but you have to learn how to do it. And we're gonna learn how to do it together. How many times has somebody stopped you in the golf course and been like, where in God's beautiful green earth are you lined up at? So why are you not taking the time to every time you go out there and hit golf balls, even if you're warming up for a friendly round of golf, not practicing with these fancy overpriced driveway sticks we call alignment sticks. Why are you not using these? You should be, because if you're not, you're doing it wrong. Here's how we do it. Two alignment sticks, one golf ball, one target. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this first alignment stick and I'm gonna stick it directly in front of the golf ball pointed directly at, the, at my target. This is going to be eventually called your intermediate target. I got a big telephone pole out there in center field. Hopefully you guys can see it. If not, no big deal. What I do is I'll come back here and I'll check it just to make sure that it's right and make sure that I don't have to make any adjustments to it. I am being this nitpicky because this is a sport of precision. This is a sport that we all want to get better and become more consistent at. So you have to take the time to do these little small things, even if it takes you a little bit more time. Now, you got your intermediate line down on the ground. Watch this. So today I've got a little eight iron and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna put my club perfectly square in behind the golf ball, pointed directly down the intermediate target. I'm gonna go ahead and take my stance and I'm gonna make sure that I put this line down on the ground on the front of my feet. And I'm gonna to try to make sure that these lines are parallel to one another. In fact, I can already see that these lines are not parallel. This foot line that I just put down is kind of pointed out towards right field a little bit. I'll come back and double check. Yeah, it's just a little bit off. So I'm gonna fix this and make sure it is parallel. Okay, that's good. Now what I do is I take the intermediate line and I just slide it forward somewhere between 12 and 18 inches. And now I have myself set up to start my practice session. And how I start the processes of retraining my eyes to make sure that I'm doing this stuff correctly is I'll go through my entire pre-shot routine, and some of you are gonna think this is really mundane and a little bit too much work, but start out by getting your eyes looking in the right spot, because some of you are gonna be very surprised how awkward and uncomfortable you feel by lining up in the correct spot. It's going to be kind of one of those eyes wide open moments. Okay, so I stand back here, look at my target. Now I walk in, and I'm gonna put the club directly behind the golf ball, I'm looking at my intermediate target. I'm gonna build my stance. Now what I'm gonna do is once both hands come on the club, I am going to start looking up at my target. I'm gonna look intermediate, target. Intermediate, target, back to the golf ball. And I'm continuing to look. Okay? Then I'm gonna start the process over again. Why? Because you gotta do some repetitions here. So same thing. Walk into the shot, club goes in behind the ball, build my stance, make sure I'm standing perfectly parallel to this line that's on my feet, looking at my intermediate target. Now I'm gonna start looking at the target in center field, back to the intermediate target, back out to center field, back to the golf ball, then up at my target. I'm gonna keep doing this several times over. Do this five, six, seven reps, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is, is you're gonna to wanna to start working on what it is that you're working on. But do not bypass this because quite honestly, if you don't follow this sort of step to get things started before you even hit your first wedge out of the bag, then I'm telling you right now, it takes one little small adjustment to your, where your eyes are actually looking for you to go down this big spiral of swing changes that you don't want to have. You got it? So practice with alignment sticks.